Okay, before we could bring that box in, we gotta, let's see. I don't know where a good view would be. Are they gonna stay? I think, I think we're good there. Okay, so, this needs to go like higher. Okay, so, this, right here, Cuisinart, what am I trying to say? Air fryer. That's what I'm trying to say. Air fryer. We've had this for seven years. Seven years. I remember when I bought it. I bought it online. It delivered at the house. It was supposed to be a, a Christmas present surprise for Babs. It came exactly in like the box. Like said Cuisinart on it, said what it was, everything. Babs got home, saw it, blew the surprise. Regardless, she loved it. The kids love it. This gets used on a daily basis, if not multiple times. Seven years. When I bought it, it was $250. It's kind of steep. I was like, wow, that's, that's a lot for a toaster. The air fry capabilities of this one. We used to have a little one like, like that was on the counter with a little basket thing you put it back in. That thing broke. Put, we let a friend have that one. It's still alive, I think, as far as I know. But the Cuisinart oven. It, what does it do? It warms, broils, toasts, bake, bake, air fry, convection. It does it all. And they use this nonstop. Well, the other day, Babs wakes up to go to, to, go to work. And wouldn't you know, it's dead. R.I.P. Get ripped tonight is dead. It doesn't work anymore. You would have thought, you would have thought World War, I'm not even going to say that because things are weird in the world right now. Um, yeah, all heck broke loose in this house. There were text messages going on at five in the morning like, no, you can't toast anything. The toast is broken. What are we going to do? It's literally been 24 hours and they're still going crazy. But. Out there on the porch, just like last time, delivered in the box from the manufacturer, we got a replacement one. Babs doesn't know. We were talking about it yesterday. She's like, we're just going to have to settle and get like one, like, like, you know, we'll just go get one of the other ones. We won't spend a lot on it, but like seven years, $200. That's pretty darn good to me. That's a good investment. So you're darn right. I bought the same one, but we bought the, I think it's stainless black like stainless steel, but black version to match the fridge. Um, 200 bucks on sale, same oven, same everything. We looked at the Ninja Foodie and stuff, just didn't give us the same, didn't give me the same vibes. The reviews said parts were cheaply made. I don't know, seven years, that's enough for me to buy another one. So let's swap them out really quick. And then we'll see what her reaction is when she comes home. Should I just leave it like that? Leave it in the box? Just there? Or should we take it out? Let's take it out. That's a pretty, pretty toaster right there. Look at that. That is a pretty toaster. I mean, is it weird to get excited over an appliance? This beauty. I'm telling you. Let's take that off so it doesn't look as new. I still think, I still think she's gonna notice. Like, 
The minute she walks in, I'm pretty sure she's going to notice this thing. She always sets her stuff over here anyway, so. That looks good. It looks good. I like the black. We got new trays, which is awesome. She wanted a new basket because our, our old one is just so rusty crusty and just stuff is baked into it for so many years. Like literally, y'all. This is not like a paid endorsement or anything. Like I would absolutely love if Cuisinart would sponsor me, but it's not. This is just 100% a review from us that have used this thing for seven years. Let me go get the other basket, just to show you the difference in baskets. Babs does a great job cleaning stuff. This is seven years of air frying. Like that stuff won't come off. Like it's just baked in goodiness. New, look at that. Look at that. I'm so excited. So excited, okay. What do y'all think? You think she's gonna recognize? You think she's gonna know about it? You think she's gonna see it right off the bat, or is it gonna take her a little bit? I might have to point it out. I think she's gonna notice. Let's find out. Let's we'll see if we can surprise her. Ready? See if she's surprised. We need a pet lining for the so they don't trash it. They need to spray everything down. I was expecting a little bit more excitement than that, but we didn't get the excitement. It's the same one though, at least. We love our It's cooking. stainless black. The toaster broke yesterday. I know, and I ordered it yesterday, and it came today. I thought we'd have a little bit more excitement in this house for a new toaster that you guys use every single day. I made such a big deal about it in the video, and then you come in and don't even notice it. Well, honestly, I didn't even look, but I just assumed the old one was still sitting there. Well, that's why I put like the bread and everything back on it, just to disguise it a little bit more, but I thought the black might have gave it away. I didn't even notice the black. Oh well, you got your new toaster. You know, one of my favorite things out here is, it's in the paper. Taylor Hub with the goal. You know what's messed up though? Is um, the defense gets no love. No love. Coach Feather, every every paper interview, every article, every everything you see is what the forwards did or what the, the midfield captain said. So everything is Megan and Kayla driven. There's zero about the back line. Zero about the back line. If it wasn't for the back line. If it was not for that back line, <coughs> be in a lot of trouble. I'm just, I'm, I may be a little biased. I mean, I know my other daughter's in the paper, but I'm just saying, defense gets neglected, and that's messed up. If it wasn't for defense, no, they wouldn't win games. Defense wins championships, times, right? They depend on that defense. They do. Well, in what was supposed to be a lighthearted fun day with that toaster, uh, it's kind of turned south with everything happening across the world. Hey, what's this? You like that? Hmm.
figured uh, everything going on today is as fitting day as ever to swap out the flag and put a fresh, fresh wet red, white, and blue up. Been a little bit more vocal on Instagram with everything that's going on, and I've been trying to encourage others to to finally be vocal, and we're starting to see it. I just hope it's not too late. But I will say, with everything that's going on right now, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff we're not being told, and we're not getting the whole story. And a lot of that should, should scare you and make you think. And I'm not talking about this stupid thing that's plagued us for the past 16 months. Talk about a different kind of threat that is actually a threat to you and me in our daily lives on our own soil. Like I said, this uh, this stupid thing that has plagued us for the past 16 months. There's no way a country this great goes to shit. Pardon my French. Um, that quick, right? We've heard that said. Yeah. And this stupid thing that's t has tore us apart the past uh, 16 months. Has us all arguing with each other. Whether you're left, whether you're right, whether you're blue, whether you're red, whether you wear a mask or you don't wear a mask, whether you get a thing or not a thing. All of our first world problems where we're so concerned with what everyone else is doing and everyone else's opinion, we're just driven by it right now. Right? It's got me more than ever putting things into place and action, taking action. It's like I've said before, my gut has had a weird feeling, has had a bad feeling about all of this, that it's something much bigger. And I think we're gonna find out here shortly after what we saw today in Afghanistan. Because no matter, no matter what you think <clears throat> or you feel, your, uh, your emotions don't make something true. And with that, the uh, world is not shaped by how you feel, but uh, more or less by what you do. So I think as uh, our current POTUS, Mr. Joe Biden, famously said, You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. We sure just handed over a bunch of them to uh, to somebody we shouldn't have. So actually, he just provided a um, perfect example of why one would need to own one. You all know where I stand with our uh, military. My heart hurts today for all those families, for all the unnecessariness. Just take care of yourselves, y'all. Yo. 